Adidas has always felt like mobile is the right thing to do. It's a, the right place for us to be. It's really the ability to connect the investment to the return. My name is Nicole Mills. I'm the Senior Digital Marketing Manager for e-commerce at Adidas America. My name is Carrie Smith and I am the Director of Mobility at iProspect based here in New York City. When it comes to measuring mobile, if we were to look at a one-to-one -one response or a one-to-one -one measurement of what our media budget is driving on our mobile site, we're missing a big part of that picture. As performance marketers, a lot of the time we look at direct response. And what mobile is requiring us to do is redefine direct response. We we're just noticing that a lot of people were finding stores using their device. So the central goals were for Adidas and I Prospect to sort of come together and figure out a methodology to measure consumers on mobile devices devices coming into retail and purchasing product. When we worked with Adidas to figure out what this equation should be, we used a lot of their internal data. We were able to then apply that one in every five store locator clicks would result in a visit to a store. Based on that, we knew 13% of in-store visits would result in a purchase, and that average order value in-store was about $71. Because we knew that, that one person out of five every store locator clicks would actually go into store, it indicated a higher level of intent. So we applied a 20% conversion rate with an average order value of $80. After we ran a couple of tests, we were able to identify that every store locator click was then worth $3.20 for the brand. Once we applied this equation, we found a 680% incremental lift in ROI. Before, all we would be able to track was if someone made a conversion in the e-commerce channel. After this case study, we now can apply some of these assumptions to then net a positive ROI. At Adidas, it was like, aha, we can play in this space.